Hello and welcome to this HOG4 tutorial which will take a look at creating and using time-only palettes. With the release of version 2 software, it is now possible to record a palette that only contains time values. As with IPCBE palettes, time-only palettes can also be global, per fixture or per type. In order to be able to record time only, you must first select the fixtures and assign values to the functions you wish to create a time only palette for. For a basic example, if I select TechnoSpot 1 and assign a colour, I can change the default fade time to 5 seconds by pressing Time, 5, Enter. When recording this as a time only palette, press Time and Record. Notice that by preceding the record command with Time, only time is highlighted in the mask menu and the colour information itself has been excluded from the mask. Now select the destination palette. The T in the directory item indicates the palette has only time information stored. As I used a single fixture, this palette is recorded by default as a global palette, meaning it can now be used to assign a colour fade time of 5 seconds to any fixture type with CMY parameters. If I select all my cyan fixtures by pressing Live, followed by the cyan palette, when the Fade Changes option is selected in the programmer, I can now select a time-only palette, followed by any colour palette, and the timing can be seen live on stage. You may wish to record more complex timing palettes, which include fanned fade and delay times, as well as paths for different parameters. For example, I will record two different timing palettes using Technospots 1 through 6, which I've recorded as Group 1. The first palette will have timings to move the fixtures between positions with a fade time of 3 seconds. I will fan the delay time between 0 and 2 seconds from one end of the truss to the other. Firstly, select the fixtures and assign position values. Press Time 3 Enter to assign the 3 second fade time. Next, press time time 0 through 2 enter to fan the delay times across the selection. Press time record followed by the destination palette. Since the delay times are fanned, each fixture has different time values and so this palette by default is recorded as per fixture and can only be used with Technospots 1 through 6. The second time only palette will have timings to move the fixtures between positions from between 2 and 5 seconds, fanned from the outside to the centre of the truss. The fixtures will all start together and so will have a delay time of 0 seconds which is the default. Once again select the fixtures and assign any position values. Press time 2 through 5 through 2 enter to create the outside to centre fan. Press Time Record followed by the destination. Like before, to use these timing palettes live in the programmer, ensure that the Fade Changes option is selected. Select the fixtures, followed by a timing palette, followed by the position palette. Now select the second timing palette and a different position. Please remember that complex timing can still be stored with the position palette if you wish but keeping separate time-only palettes allows for greater flexibility during programming. When fanning time, also remember that grouping and budgeting settings can be used in exactly the same way as with other parameters. Time-only palettes are not just for making live changes in the programmer, but the timing information can also be recorded into queues. In the next tutorial, we will look at the effects engine, as well as having a more in-depth look at the new effects features. Thank you for watching.